Okay, so let's see if we can practically answer these questions. To do that, I'm going to use simulation mode in Packet Tracer, and I'm going to change the filters to only show ARP and ICMP messages. I don't want to see all the other traffic types in the network. So let's see what happens when PC1 pings PC4. PC1 has an IP address of 10.1.1.1. PC4 has an IP address of 10.1.1.4. So we are going to send ICMP traffic, in other words, ping traffic, from PC1 to PC4, and then we're going to observe what happens. Now in this example, I'll only send two packets. In other words, two pings. Notice what happens in the network. There's ICMP traffic, but there's also an ARP frame that's generated. PC1 needs to learn the MAC address of PC4. So it sends out an ARP, which is a broadcast requesting the target MAC address of PC4. So in answer to our first question, what type of packet is sent initially? The answer is a ARP packet, which is a broadcast packet. We've proven that by running simulation mode in Packet Tracer. Now this is a broadcast, and in this network, the devices are connected to a hub. So the traffic should be flooded to all devices in the network, except the device that sent the packet. So who receives the packet? PC2 does, PC3 does, and so does PC4. PC2 and PC3 will drop the packets because the R packet is not for their IP address. PC2, as an example, is configured with IP address 10.1.1.2. So PC2 is going to drop the packet. The ARP request is for IP address 10.1.1.4. So both PC2 and PC3 drop the packet, but PC4 will accept the packet. And what it should do now is send back an ARP reply. So if we look at this packet, notice the inbound packet to the hub is an ARP reply packet with the MAC address of PC4. This is PC4's IP address. This is its MAC address. We can verify that by using the ipconfig command. And I should say ipconfig slash all. Notice the MAC address, which is the source MAC address of the frame. And that's the source MAC address we see over here. So the next question is, who receives the return traffic? So if I click capture forward, notice PC1, PC3, and PC2 receive the return traffic. So it'd be PC1, PC2, and PC3. PC2 and PC3 will drop the ARP reply because it's not destined to them. When we look at that packet, we can see that the destination MAC address is PC1. And we can confirm that by looking at the config of PC1. Notice the MAC address is this. So PC2 and PC3 will drop the ARP reply. We then asked when ping traffic is sent from PC1 to PC4, who receives the traffic? Now it's a hub, so the traffic will be flooded. So here's the ICMP message. We can see that it's an Ethernet 2 frame using IP4 at a layer 3. And we can see it's an ICMP packet. And when we click Capture Forward, Notice PC2, PC3, and PC4 
receive the traffic, but again, PC2 and PC3 will drop the packet because it's not destined to them. When we look at the inbound PDU or protocol data unit on PC4, we can see that the destination IP address is PC4 and the destination MAC address is PC4. We can verify that once again by using the IP config slash all command and we can see the MAC address of PC4. So that's gonna continue now. When PC4 replies to PC1, the traffic is flooded. And this is the problem with a hub. Even though the conversation is between PC1 and PC4, everyone in the network receives the traffic.